I hope you like this next one. Most of our offenses now are incorporating pick and pop, pick and slip. So we're going to incorporate the ball screen and the throwback for the shot. Positions don't matter here. This is a matter of playing basketball and getting some game shots under a timed constraint. I hope you like it. Take that ball off. Again, the passer is pivotal to getting your shooter in rhythm. All right, we're going to do this on the move now. Now, watch this. Stoff, you're going to slip this. So you're going to run at Garrett, letting him know, hey, I'm going to, and I'm going right to the corner. Garrett, you're going to find him real quick, almost with no dribble, okay? All right, now we're going to set a fake ball screen and just sprint it to the corner. Watch how, watch your players when you're doing this much shooting. Legs, legs, legs. So when you're talking to them about how prepared are they, it's really how prepared are they to take a shot in the fourth quarter of a high school game. Let me give you a food, food for thought. Your players practicing shots is one thing, but you cannot allow them to take shots that they haven't shown you that they can make. I'm not talking about putting handcuffs or restricting anybody, but you want to make sure that in your offense, on Friday night in front of a packed gym, that your players are taking consistently shots that they've shown they can make. Using these drills, let a lot of opportunities. Measuring everything, statting it, gives you the numbers. I'm not an analytics guy, but I know this. If you shoot six for 10, then on Friday night, you should shoot six for 10. Hope you enjoy. Coaches, thanks for your time and taking a look at this video. I hope that in some ways, it's going to help your team on a Tuesday or a Friday night. I hope it's going to help in a Christmas tournament. I hope it's going to help in the postseason. I am a big believer in that we are responsible to share with each other. So I want to share this thought with you. We're not in the gym. We're not in the gym at St. Joseph's University. We're not in the gym at your high school. We're in your classroom where you're the teacher, you're the mentor, you're the guide. Please give me some feedback. Tell me some drills that you're doing so it'll make me a little bit better coach. And if ever in the Philadelphia area and you want to stop by and talk hoops, you want to watch a practice, you're my guest. You're my guest at St. Joseph's University. If you have any interest in watching a practice, you could call this phone number, 800-766-4295. 800-766-4295. I would be honored to host you. Thanks for all you're doing for the players and the parents in your program.